when we come into a relationship with Jesus Christ, each of us become part of his body, that is the true church. And we're each given spiritual gifts for the edification of the church, helping others, pointing others in the right direction. And we can be an encouragement to the Lord's body. But if you're not practicing your spiritual gift, and if you're not spending time with Jesus Christ, then you're not going to be encouraging others and you're not going to be the light of the world. Jesus calls us to be the light of the world and to edify others. You need to spend time with your creator. Ask him for the gift of the Holy Spirit, that he may fill you and teach you, that you may be full of his righteousness, that when you go out into the world, that you may be a light to others, shining for him, and that when you get together with other true members of the body of Christ, that is the true church, you may have a prophecy or a word of encouragement, a spiritual tongue. This is what the Apostle Paul writes in 1 Corinthians chapter 14. How is it then, brethren, whenever you come together, each of you has a psalm, has a teaching, has a tongue, has a revelation, has an interpretation. Let all things be done for edification. If you're not practicing your spiritual walk with the Lord, if you're not asking him to give you the gifts of the Holy Spirit, then you're going to be fruitless when you come together with others, and you're not going to be salt and light. Are you an encouragement to others? Are you working as a true part of the body of Christ? Are you practicing your spiritual gift? Or are you filling yourself with all the information of the world? Are you just indulging in the arm of the flesh and all the things of this world? I encourage you to be a true light. Encourage others in the body of Christ and truly become part of Jesus' church. May the grace of Jesus be with you.